Another day, another bit of my car ceiling is gone. Hello internet, hello uh, fucking traffic, hello world. <laughs> um, it has been a while since I came before you, it's been a very busy week. That day that I uh, last talked to you, I had family coming to town and that whole this whole past week has been me partying with them and other things. So I am uh, coming to you today to give you a little recap. I went fucking laser tagging, Disneyland, miniature golfing, uh, I went to an anniversary lunch at Buca de Beppo, delicious by the way, delicious. And uh, yeah, I'm really tired. Actually, I'm a lot less tired than I usually am because this past weekend, I was able to sleep in for the first time since I got back from Paris. Yep. How's that for a sleepy time? Huh? Whatever. I, um, I've been playing some, oh, and, and while, while my family was over, played a lot of Mortal Kombat, which is great because I don't have anybody to play that with. Uh, the single player is fine, but being able to play and react with people is just awesome. And I don't know too many people who are super into Mortal Kombat like I am. So, I mean, there's online, but again, that's not the same thing. That's not being in the room with somebody. You know, trying to recreate that old arcade feeling. And um, the arcade edition of Super Street Fighter 4 came out. I'm wondering whether or not I should get that for um, Oni Akuma and uh, Evil Ryu and Yun and Yang. Just because... I've got too many fighting games right now, and I'm thinking of selling back Marvel vs. Capcom 3 just because I don't play it. I like it, it's not that I don't like it, I just don't play it. And I've gotten to a place with games where now I can afford them, so it's not a huge investment to buy games. So I trade them in. I mean, I might as well get the worth of that game while I can, and if no additional DLC is coming to Marvel vs. Capcom, spoiler, then, uh, my hair looks great, by the way. If no additional DLC is coming, then why, why keep playing it? Like, I just bought Scarlet from Mortal Kombat, and she's great. She's a really good character. And Kenshi's coming out in July. Rain is going to come out probably two weeks after that. And a fourth character that they didn't announce. Um, but I like me some Mortal Kombat. I've played every Mortal Kombat since the first. I've played every Street Fighter since Street Fighter 2. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom... I played, yeah, I played Street Fighter vs. X-Men, Marvel vs. Capcom, played them all. I'm a big fighting game fan, if you haven't noticed. And, uh, yeah, it's crazy. I've decided to get an Xbox 360, which will be in the fall for the Gears of War 3, and I got the, so you can add me on Xbox Live if you want, because I have access to one. Uh, Soapbox Mark D, just like the channel. Uh, and on PlayStation Network, if anybody's on PlayStation Network, feel free to add me there. I'm the Idget, the underscore Idget. Um, I wanted to get a Soapbox Mark PSN, but um, maybe I will, but I have all of my trophies on my Idget channel, or Idget profile, and I think I'm level 11, level 12, so getting all of that back is going to be ridiculous. But I mean, there's going to be a lot coming out, and if I play Portal again, I'll get those, and fighting games. Damn it. Damn it. But yeah, a lot of gaming is going on. Uh, I need to beat Alien Noir and Infamous, and I'll probably trade those in along with Marvel vs. Capcom towards Gears and my Retro Lancer, because I'm getting one, because I'm a fucking nerd. But uh, yeah, what, what big uh, video game releases are you excited for this year? I mean, within a span of two weeks in November alone, there's going to be Super Mario 3D, um, not Kid Icarus. Yeah, Kid Icarus. Um... Uncharted, Skyrim, Modern Warfare 3, Assassin's Creed. Is that a cop? I think that's a cop. Sponsor. Hey, look at this. That's a car. And while this cop drives by, oh, oh, I would have been in trouble. Oh, do you think I would have gotten in trouble? Probably. Probably would have gotten in trouble. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to be playing video games. I'm at the Homicide Desk for L.A. Noir. I just finished the sh White Shoe Murder. Whatever. The long one that had to do with catching the bus. And for those of you who've played Alien Noir, you know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. But I need to beat that, and I need to beat Infamous 2. As much as the user-generated levels are, or missions are cool, 
I don't see myself playing that again. I love Infamous, I really do, but whenever I tried to sit down and play evil, I just couldn't do it. I didn't have it in me. I wasn't strong enough to be evil. Ah. I mean, I might... The one thing that I did do was I, um, with the first game, was I was all the way hero, and then I just went around and beat up civilians until I got all the way evil, and then I bought all of those upgrades, I guess, and then I got trophies for that, but um, I got denied out of so many things in that game. Once I knew that I couldn't find all of the blast cores, I just decided to fuck it, and I sold it back. So, I'm gonna wait until... Oh, and the beta, the Uncharted 3 beta. If you guys are on PSN and you want to play me in the Uncharted 3 multiplayer beta, add me, add me, add me. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for me today. Um, I'm thinking of finally posting that video game uh, commentary video that I did, which would probably start a series. I'm still thinking of a name, though. Um, aside from that, I'm gonna go home and shoot five points of view and edit it. So, bye everybody, headbutt!